Flash Magnus, Mage Madam Broke, a true love by Stitch Down. For the past few weeks, Flash Magnus has been training the Royal Guard recruits in Cantalot. He's very proud to be back and now especially be training a new soldiers in order to protect the castle in Cantalot and even the Royal Sister. But there was one thing that he wished the most to find his special some pony. Some of the Royal Guards have actually been noticed how much has been spending some time by himself. When he's not in duty, he's often just walking around town, seeing other ponies, being happy, and some of the guards also has been off duty and notice how much unhappy he looks and just give a big sigh and just walks away or flies away from there. It has happened some of the world guards has been knowing some mares has been looking for dating and some of them were actually interested in Flash Magnus, one of those greatest heroes in history. So it happened that a few of those guards actually put up set up a date for Flash Magnus and some of their female friends. Of course, Flash didn't mind the because he wanted to do something else, he's walking around in town on his free time. But unfortunately, these days didn't last more than, more than about three to four days. The guards didn't give up hope to find Flash someone right yet. But during the same time, Mage Madenbrook also had been feeling down. Even she's glad to be back and be back at her her, home, her ancient home again. But even her descendant, Cattail, had noticed how much she had been spending her time by herself, either reading books or making some new potions. Even that she didn't have to do any more potions because she had already a lot of that things on storage. But she couldn't do anything else except for that. But, of course, Cattail often tried to convince her to go out in the world, see her old friends again. That she can leave the clinic to him and that she could take a break from it. But if she didn't want to leave because she thought that what if some pony needs her help and that she, she, she's away from it? But he explains since she had been telling, showing him about some of the ancient spells, some of the potions how to make, he is convinced that he can take care of the business while she's away. Of course, she didn't want to go, but she, but she did actually leave her home. She actually went to Crystal Empire to see Miss Main. Since Miss Main and Mage was actually very good friends, they were like sisters. But overall from that, Miss Main, Miss Main actually knows something about Mage. She had a very secret crush on Flash Magnus. Ever since they met on the first time, she felt very warm inside. Her heart was skipping more beats. She didn't expect otherwise from that. She was going to tell Flash about her feelings for him before they had to battle with the Shadow Pony. But all that changed when they had to go into battle much sooner and she didn't have the time to tell him how she felt. So being stuck trapped in the limbo for a thousand years and then came out from again in the modern world, she still had her same feelings for him so after so long time. But otherwise she didn't feel that if she should tell him because 
She believes that she that Flash had already found some special pony elf. But she was surprised hearing from Miss Main that who has been writing, writing letters to Flash back and forth from time to time, saying that Flash hasn't found the special some pony yet. Even that some of his Royal Guard members often put up a date for him, but it doesn't even work out that he wants to do. So Mage decided to go to see him. And of course, Miss Min wish her happy and good luck. But when she arrived at Cantaloupe, she found out from some of the Royal Guards that Flash wasn't even there. He had actually left Cantaloupe the day before to go to Ponyville. He wanted to spend some time with his friend Rainbow Dash. Since Rainbow and Flash had a lot of things in common, they are fast flyers and very strong and very loyal and very brave and love to compete. So she went there and saw Flash and the Rainbow com compete each other against in the sky. She thought that Flash had fallen in love with Rainbow. But in fact, Rainbow was already taken by Soren from the Wonder Books. And they had been dating for a couple of months. Flash was actually not interested in, in Rainbow in the same way because he saw her as a friend, a deep good friend. That's something that they have something in common. So, but before knowing that, she actually went to see Twilight and Fluttershy in the castle. Did notice how much hurt she was. And they asked her what was wrong with her and if they could do something for her. Of course, they didn't, they didn't do much about this secret. But then, Mage actually explained to both of them what was going on. But Twilight then explained to, to Mage that Rainbow and Flash aren't even seeing each other as a couple, just friends, because Rainbow is already taken by Soren from the Wonder Books. So she was just happy to hear that. So she asked if Soren, no, Flash, has been seeing some pony, if they know that. But both shook their heads and said no, because Flash has just been at the castle for only for about a day. Since they now know, know that Mage is actually deeply in love with Flash, they asked her and even tried to convince her to tell Flash about her feelings, even though they have been a millennium. But they tried to convince her, at least tell, that she should tell Flash about her feelings. Even that, even if he doesn't have the same feelings back to her, she had to tell her and tell him before it, something happens to him or something or it is too late. But she decided not to tell, not yet. She stayed in the castle and Flash was surprised to see Mage there, and she told him that she was there for, for a visit. So he didn't mind that. They used to actually talked to each other, played some games, card games, and sort of thing. Told, told them about the old, old adventures they had together. But it was just one other thing that when they were talking, Mage felt her heart was so beating, it felt almost like it was going to burst out and just she wanted to tell him right away about her true feelings for him but at the same time she was just too scared to tell him so the, that night when she went, went to bed she couldn't get any much sleep because she was laying there thinking about Flash and how he how would react when she told her and that she told him. Of course she fell asleep and that night she actually had nightmares. 
after that, she, in one of those nightmares, she actually told Flash that she loved him deeply. Of course, in the nightmare, he was just laughing her right in her face and saying that he would never be with some pony like her and just fly away with Rainbow. And that hurt her very much. She even woke up from the nightmare with cold sweat, but she could feel her heart was beating faster and faster and faster. She was nearly about to scream of tears, but she realized it was just a dream. How could that? She just hoped it was just a dream, nothing else, just a dream. And of course, much of that has been very hurtful. The next day, after breakfast, Mage decided to take a walk through town to, to clear her head. At the same time, Flash was actually in the park doing some exercise. And then she actually walked up to him. Now she felt ready enough to tell him, even if the same thing could happen in her nightmare. But she was not ready even to convince her and take the outcome of telling him. After she told him, she closed her eyes for a laugh. It was quiet. Nothing happened. No doubt. She opened one eye and saw the flash was actually staring at her with a smile. Nothing. He just said, I know. He said that he noticed that even before the battle between the Shadow Pony a thousand years ago, he was just hoping and waiting for her to tell her to tell him. But then she told him about the nightmare before. The night before that. He told Mage that he would never do something like that. And then he kissed her and asked if she wanted to be his girlfriend. And she could never be so happier. She started to cry and said yes over and over. And hugged him. They decided to go back to the castle and tell Twilight about this. And sure enough, soon every of the old friends even know about their relationship, and it was a great time. Of course, since Flash was still in the captain of the Royal Guards in Canterlot, he had still to be part of that, and that Mage had to go back home to take care of the clinic with her descendants. But they often visited each other as often as they could, even writing letters back and forth. After telling Miss Main about this, when she heard about it, she was just happy to hear that Mage had finally told Flash about her true feelings. It didn't take much time, because during the one year later, who was going to celebrate their first year together, a disaster happened. A big dam, one of those house cities, cities nearby of Mage home village, was in, in danger. She was there to try to help the people on the stairs to, to leave the town before the, the dam was bursting. And lucky enough, sure enough, who didn't show up, showed up right the moment before the dam was going to burst? It was actually Flash. Flash, Magnus, and some other royal guards appeared with the Wonderbolt. Mage was actually struck, was actually trapped in, on, a, on a rooftop when the, when the dam burst and the entire town was flooded. Of course, the building where she's standing on was about to collapse, and Flash saw her trapped with two children lying on sight, and she held tight on them. Well, he dived so fast down and caught her before the building collapsed beneath them. It took nearly two days before the water was removed from the town and was 
all the permits could go back home and rebuild it. Mage was so happy to see that Flash came back so fast before anything that could happen. He was just happy to be there and just and he explained that they were even called to this town before it happened because they were actually in a nearby in the area in the area to do some training when they heard from some ponies that the dam was about to burst and the town needed help. So they cut their training process at first and go try to save the ponies light first. And sure enough they did save every light. No one left was lost. And also only about two months after that they celebrated their one year anniversary, Flash actually proposed to Mage. And it was just one of the most greatest times. She he actually proposed to her during the night, during a shower, mirror shower on the school on the sky. It was just perfect. The next day, they informed and they announced to their friends about this, and every pony could be more happier than though. It took. It did take nearly about a month later when Mage Meadowbrook and Flash actually got married. And they actually did went to Saddle Arabia for two weeks for the honeymoon. But only two years later, Mage announced that she was pregnant with a baby. Flash could never be more happier. He was so prepared to be a father. Of course, he even made Rockhoff as the godfather and Mistman as the godmother. Of course, both Flash and Nate was happy to find out they had a daughter. But only then, when their daughter was about four years old, they had another baby, a son. Both of them was actually more happier to be with each other and also having a family together. And that's how Flash Magnus made Schmetterbrook find true love and got a family. The end.